So, I guess Bowser's behind this one too. Welcome back to more Yoshi's Woolly World. Last time, we triumphed over Kamek, and as revenge for skinning all of our friends alive, we skinned him alive and put him on as a suit on top of a Yoshi. And now we're masquerading around the world, being like, Hi, everybody, I'm Kamek. I'm a stupid face. It's the only thing I can think of. Okay, I'm a Yoshi, so I never learn how to read. But I'm Kamek, and I sound like Teen Girl Squad. This time, we're going off to the final battle. But this hack job of a Yoshi is not the one for the job. Out of all the Yoshis available, I want Red Yoshi. We're in the end game. Time to ascend. King Bowser's Castle. Well, I mean, if you ask me, he's more of a prince, but uh, don't say that around him. In we go. For this final battle. Many of these abilities are great. Immunity to fire and lava could be kind of helpful. But I think Sea Hidden Items has become my new favorite, even more so than the big yarn ball, so we're going for it. And it just so happens, I can't believe that I'm getting the chance to say this, but my favorite little trick in this entire game is in this final level. And I will be happy, 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 happy to share the knowledge and tell you exactly how to do it. Wow, that was very efficient. I didn't mean for it to be. Well, in we go, I guess. May there not have been any collectibles at the start of the level, because I can't go back unless I restart and... I'm not going to just take the wind out of our sails from what happened right there. We have tap taps right off the bat. You know, because they're baseballs. <laughs> Gotta have your uh, bad laughs about you even in the face of danger. But just as always, they can be rolled off the cliff and that's about the only way to do it. I'm on purpose going to hang on to these eggs. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but maybe you don't want to throw a certain egg color, duck. I know the second color was white, but you saw that eventually it went around to the black one. That changes the order of which color you're going to throw next. And for this, I want to be very careful not to use up all of my white eggs. Luckily, I still had one more after I so carelessly did that. But we can go inside. Welcome to the main hall. There are four colors of statues with missing heads. They are merely wire frames. As always, a wire frame can be filled in with an egg. But if it's the wrong color, it won't take. I think you see where this is going. Because we saved a white egg from the very beginning from the skeleton goonies, we get a free pass without having to hunt down the right color. Not only that, <laughs> Yoshi's confused as to why it took a second for anything to happen. Scanning in a green yarn Yoshi amoeba. And I chose to play as red Yoshi for very good reason. <laughs> now, red Yoshi, take green Yoshi, and hit that one. Now, it would seem like the blue yarn Yoshi amiibo would be able to activate that last one, too. Unfortunately, I'm terrible. Unfortunately for you pay-to-win little scamps, he's not quite the right color. He's just a little bit too bright. But if cheesing it is the name of your game, I have saved to one of my amiibo. I was waiting for his name to pop up because I was gonna call him Referee Yoshi and I remember that wasn't his name. It's probably like Glacier or something. I think it was actually Snowflake. I don't remember, it was some icy name. This guy is the right color and you can find him in World 5 and by doing that, 
Epic speedrunning tactics, ahoy! <laughs> It's pretty incredible just how easily you can do this. If amiibo aren't allowed in a run that you're doing, two-player mode is just as effective in setting one of the players to a red Yoshi and keeping him in an egg until now. But that will pretty much get you to the end of the level right away. But I don't want to do that. We're going out for 100%, and I'm going to stand by that. We're out. Since that method does not tickle my fancy, I'm now going to show you a new feature, the world list. Not a new feature per se, but something I haven't done up to this point. You can hit plus to jump to that world instantly, and it's very helpful when you're up high on top of the dresser and it's a long, long way down. Since we don't need Red Yoshi, Bert the Yoshi will be the one to take on this final battle. First boss versus worst boss. Oh, this is you. How did I not comment on it the first time? Now, if you're putting on your big boy pants like Bert the Yoshi here and doing this level the real way, what's it like? You can go either to the right or to the left. And there is a checkpoint on each side that is up to your discretion to use. Yup, it's yet another maze. But I guess because it's the final level, I'm not too against it. I mean, it's kind of to be expected when going into it that that was how it was going to be. So I'm not really upset by it or anything. I got out my complaints about there being too many mazes in an earlier level so that we can just have fun going for it this time. Now, since we're kind of coming full circle and I can finally acknowledge Bert the Yoshi directly, um, I can tell you the real story behind why he went missing in action for so long. It was due to the fact that not really by any actual intention. Um, just because there's so many costumes and it's kind of hard to track which ones I've used and which ones I hadn't. He just kind of slipped through the cracks because I went and beat the boss and then I was off to the special stage and I was more worried about how I was going to be doing it. And I kind of recorded a lot in advance before this series began. And thanks to that, I just kind of had a bunch of videos done before the first one even released. And wow, this guy is really bothering me. I am very low on help. Oh, right. Go away. No, stop. Blarg. Blarg. I do not wish to be a part of the blargening. Leave me alone. Thank you. Okay, good. Hearts. I needed the bad. Uh, okay, going back up through the pipe. I got a red shy guy from there, and we want to take that back to the hub safely without eating too many eggs along the way and overriding it. As I just said earlier, remember that you can change the order of which egg is going to be thrown next. There is a reason why I thought it was a good tip to share with you. Now, because I had so many videos recorded in advance, I was already most of the way through World 2 by the time you guys told me I forgot Bert the Yoshi, and I kind of just thought it would be really funny to kind of leave him by the wayside from there on because of just how things played out. It's kind of the downside to doing things a little bit too far in advance, but I think it ended up being kind of a bit of fun. And Besides, I do like the idea of the first boss getting to take on the final boss. So it all worked out in the end. This other red one that I don't need will go towards something else that is red. My hearts and my health. That moon is so beautiful, it really is. We can see it on the way in too, and it's kind of been in the background periodically throughout this whole adventure. It's a reference to Yoshi's Island and the iconic boss fight with Raphael the Raven, which of all the characters to return for an actually good Yoshi's Island sequel, why not that one? Seriously, like, I don't know why he's absent from this game. And you know, the snow world being without a unique boss and there being bumpties everywhere, you'd think he'd be right at home there, but no, nah, man, Big Montgomery, that's where it's at. That's what the kids are into these days. Yeah, you rotten kids and your love for Big Montgomery. Whoa, that looks really cool. <laughs> okay. Nah, I wouldn't dare blame the generation of today for loving Big Montgomery. I'm not that mean to any generation. Those white shy guys that were up in the sky are the key to this statue. And I think since we're halfway done, it's time for a checkpoint. And time for some hearts as well. I guess I'll go right away, and we got pendulums made out of yarn balls. It's been a long time since we've seen this mechanic. I think, actually, it was Bert the Bashful's Castle where we met Bert the Yoji, so he's doubly a fitting Yoji to use in this level. That's kind of neat. Okay. Grab these. Thankfully, it's not instant death below. Just going to be ready to hit the switch one more time. 
And then, whoop! Not getting knocked out today. But I do want to know what's over here. And I ain't getting knocked out by that either. More hearts, full health. All right, now just to keep it through the entire last battle and all the rest of the stage, and we'll be perfectly fine. That's the only thing that could possibly go wrong. Go ahead and shuffle your feet, Yoshi. Show you strutting your stuff on the not floor. I was gonna say on the dance floor, but whoa. Okay, that looked really painful. I'm not gonna lie, that looked really, really painful. Uh, ground pounding over this way means some beads. And some beads means Miiverse stamps. Hit the switch. And then down we go at long last getting to see what's in this pipe. There's a claw daddy just because all the enemies have to come back. Oh, and a, 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 a disappointingly easy fish is what I remember your name as, but I know that that's not your name. I just know it's what I called you repeatedly. I'll take that, that skein of skin. Are you gonna come up? Yeah, you're just as much of a joke as always and drop such an unproportionally large amount of beads compared to how you'd expect it. There you go. He does eat the enemies, preventing us from getting over to him, but thankfully they were just black shy guys, not the color that we were looking for. That sounds like it has really bad potential to be racist the way that I said that, and I swear that's not how I mean it though, but not like anybody would think that that is the case. <laughs> All right, blue shy guys, what we actually came for. Got three blue eggs, and I'm just going to not rush past. I have learned my lesson. When you see enemies, throw eggs at them. Had to learn that lesson sometime. Uh, I just bumped that shy guy without taking damage. He reacted to me touching him very slightly. Good to know that my eyeballs are the least vulnerable part of my entire body. What a rare trait to have. There's the blue. I have to say, Bowser, you do not look good in the blue. Back with the switches, it enables us to go up to this green pipe, and wouldn't you know it, green is the very last color that we're missing. Bomb guys, hurt you as well. Be sure to remember that a lot better than I did. There's a green shy guy just resting in the middle who could have gotten blown up by the bombs, but thankfully that wasn't the case. Instead, it is you who will die to the bombs. I think I'll just kind of kill all these guys because they look like the kind of types that would have an item on them if I were to take them all out. Yes! There's a black yarn. Black wonder wool, not wonder yarn. And that is, I think, all but the middle collectibles, yes. Which, we've yet to go through this middle area yet. This is the very top of the castle and isn't really required to be gone to for anything, really. I'm kind of thinking maybe you guys hold the key that I am looking for. <laughs> he made such a funny boink sound when he died. We all dream of having a death that comedic. Yep, there is red. Back in the upper right quadrant, I've learned what it is we need to do. Wow, he's actually not that easy to kill, contrary to how careful I thought I was going to have to be. <laughs> uh, I guess he feels like, okay, fine, you didn't kill me, so I guess I'll get up and waddle around a little before you and look all cute so that you can awe at me. Aww. Well, uh, oh, Dizzy Dandy! That is not actually called the Dizzy Dandy, and they had to give it some overcomplicated name. That is all 20 Meaver stamps! Throwing a parade in our honor right there! And then... Go away, please, thank you. The frame rate seems to not be able to handle this room. That is flower number three, only missing number two now. And if I were a gambling yoaster, I'd say it's probably on the left side of the level. It just occurs to me, this guy has the propeller on his pants too. <laughs> oh, just the comic relief sidekick I need. Let me lick ya. I swear it'll only hurt for a second. Thank you. I might have taken your face off, but oh well. That's just how extreme kissing me is. After fighting with myself for quite some time, if I was remembering this correctly or not. Bring it on! I'm so glad it was right! <laughs> and it's kind enough to deliver us unto our final destination.
I believe that is full health, all Meaver stamps, all Wonder Wool, all flowers. Down the hall, it's an auto scroller. They know how to raise the tension on us who grew up with these platformers. Kamek appears and casts some various magic, turning the blocks into random objects. I'm sorry guys, but um, you know, us crocheted folk are the sentient ones. You uh, you kind of more or less count as objects, I'm sorry. Um, it is, okay, I'm not gonna chance it there. Uh, that's kind of cool that that one has a crocheting needle. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, that one also had a heart in it. Thanks, Kamek. I appreciate you. You're a rock. You helped out your enemy. You're officially a rockin' dude. Uh, ow, ow. Okay. Um, where's Kamek gonna appear next? Or is Kamek not going to appear anymore? Oh, there you are. I was standing on top of your spawn point. I was trying to demonstrate that you can hit Kamek, but okay, it's fine. I got my health back anyway. At least some of it. Oh well. I wasn't too married to my perfect run, but it was kind of nice that I got everything on the last one. No additional health, nothing hidden. This music's nice. Sorry, Yoshi, I just have a thing for video game music. We have better things to do than sit around listening to music. But what could possibly measure up? Where's Kamek? Why isn't he home? Young Master Bowser, here I am, safe and sound. Uh, Yo, wait! Why so wait? What have you been doing? Give me that yawn. We're gonna use this yarn to make a big new castle. My castle. Uh, hmm? Uh, hey, who are you? Uh, this is my yarn, mine, mine, mine. I'm not giving it up to anybody. Little master, uh, allow me to assist! Starting off, it is... Um, King Bowser. Sure, we'll let him pretend. He jumps around like a little acrobat and spits fire at you. He's also able to hang off of the curtains and do some kind of trickety trick jumps. He pounds down and makes lava appear. Not to mention Shy Guys, who are good egg fodder. He goes up. And as he's charging to breathe fire, smack him right in the face. Pa! Put the little brat in his place. And oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, I was standing in the wrong place. I thought it was gonna go the other way. And then, toward the middle. Kamek powers up the fireball and it goes in a splash. Hit him again, hit number two. And I have to ask, Bowser is made out of, uh, you know, crocheted material. And the statue outside was also made of the same material. So, does that mean he's living in a flesh castle? I have to know the answer to this, I'm sorry. Like, is that what that actually means? And the fact that he wanted the, the skins of dead Yoshis to make his castle bigger. You know, I think that just further sells it home that this is incredibly disturbing when you think about it without the context of the art style. Y young master, are you all right? Yoshi, how could you do such a thing? Wait, I have the perfect idea. Let's use the power of this yarn. Yes, that'll be perfect. Hey, hang on. What's going on here? <laughs> You've made me angry! 
This attitude problem got too big to handle. The power of the yarn is making him enormous. He's raining down yarn balls from the sky, which have contrails on them similar to a meteorite. And then he creates giant waves. Upon doing so, he might loosen a tie on this yarn, enabling us to take it for ourselves. Since it is the power of the magic yarn making him this powerful, that is your target. And I gotta say, when you really think about everything up to this point, how I pointed out all these situations, whoa, okay, I wasn't seeing that coming. All these situations that just make his plan so sinister and evil and vile and kind of disgusting when you really stop and think about it, this might be Bowser's most evil plan ever, you know? Skinning people alive so that he could build a castle out of it. I mean, at least what Kamek did, you know, he made a fleshy Bowser more fleshy by using flesh. You could argue that the proteins in it is just kind of the natural order of eating things, but yeah, it's a little bit disturbing when you think about what Bowser was actually wanting with all this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna jump over here. These are really nice. They essentially just make you un- Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Not having to worry about attacks is what I was trying to say. He's taken out a lot of the footholds, turning them into just yarn balls. And we gotta get over there and fast. I think I'm gonna use this. Get over to the other side while he's busy looking around. We can hit, we can barely hit that one. I thought for sure that we missed it. Uh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Get into the cannon, get into the cannon, thank you. And then over this way, there's that one. Uh, I'm in the floor, I am in the floor. Whoa, okay, I am so thankful I didn't die right there because I really thought I was screwed. He's taking out the foothold with some punches. And he's turning along with us, and now it's time to hop into this once again, away from his fire breathing. Right out from behind him. Come on, there it is. I don't really need to eat more of these. Uh, okay, I only had myself to blame if I got hit there because I really didn't need to eat anymore. We'll take off. There's only one more left. Ha! <laughs> And he lays there looking like an adorable toy that Grandma would have lovingly made for you. The yarn unravels from Baby Bowser and scatters all around. Suddenly, it comes together and knits a bunch of Yoshis back. You do this to young master! You will pay for this one day! Eek! Reunited, the Yoshis return to their island, once more happy and cozy. Hopefully, baby Bowser will take some time to think about what he's done. How do you like that, Bowser? Not even good enough to just be bested by your World 1 2-bit villain that you sent to just guard a few Yoshis, but bested by the dog in the end. <laughs> Yoshi's Woolly World is an incredibly charming game that I think has such creative level concepts that just pop up constantly. Well, with the exception of kind of the end game where everything's just very maze-like, but I've already talked about that. I do think it loses itself a little bit toward the end, but is absolutely worth experiencing. And that final level, it picked up a lot. I will say that that's definitely the most enjoyable maze-like stage to play through because it's very clear where the collectibles are, and I think a lot of the challenge is legitimate. Uh, a lot of enemies come back, and it's a really solid finale. That was a good boss fight as well. I had a lot of fun playing this for you, and, um, you know, I will say that... It maybe wasn't the most spectacular in terms of editing or presentation, but it was a fun time and I was very happy to show it to you. Are the credits? Oh, give a second, the credits were almost over already and I remembered it being a lot longer than that. Well, now that we're at the end, it feels like this just kind of came and went. I guess I'm used to everything just being a gigantic RPG where things take 90 episodes. 
For the production of this series, I'd like to thank Stephen George, who designed the text boxes, end cards, all that kind of stuff, really stylizing it to the game. As always, he does amazing work, and I can't thank him enough for it. I'd like to thank Hopabolic on Twitch, otherwise known as Macromania. He is currently the world champion for Yoshi's Woolly World 100% speedruns, and watching his live streams taught me a lot about this game. In fact, he's where I picked up that super cool trick for how you just skip to the end of the final level if you're clever with what eggs you're using. And I'd also like to thank Maryland for watching several of these videos before they made it out to you, just to kind of give me feedback on them. It feels so weird that this game not only came out, but is also getting a sequel next year, hopefully, assuming it doesn't go the same way that this one did, because like I said, I remembered a time where I thought this was cancelled and we were never going to see it again because of Yoshi's New Island being announced and released in a time where we hadn't seen this game in years in any official capacity. But it's real, and I'm so glad that it is. I think the developers at Good Feel are some of the most talented folk working at Nintendo today, and I really can't wait to see what else they do. And with this story concluded, I hope you'll join us back here next time when we see the special level at the end of World 6, because there's a challenge for that too. And there's also some various other things that have opened up, and we'll be covering that. And then I hope you'll join us back here for a game that I think is very important to a lot of people's childhoods and teen years, and might have been their first introduction to a very beloved series. But I don't see a whole lot of people talking about this game today. I hope I can show it a little bit of love. See you guys then. Okay, so, true story, and I can't believe this is real. As soon as I announced this game as a Let's Play, about a week later, I got audited by the IRS. It's like they knew! And for the sake of feeding the meme, yes, they found out that I owed more money. <laughs>